Thinking of staying in a hostel? In this video, we tell you everything you need to know about booking and staying in a hostel. How's it friends? We are Matteo and Misha, and we are the global expats. We're an international married couple who's lived all over the world, even on a cruise ship. And on this Travel and Lifestyle channel, we're here to give you the best tips and tricks we learned along the way, and hopefully inspire you to see new places, have awesome new experiences, and just live life to the fullest. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So what exactly is a hostel? A hostel is a lower budget accommodation that's shared by travelers around the world. They're located in most major cities and are majority of the time cheaper than hotels. They are awesome if you're traveling solo or in a group. We always use Hostel World to book because the website and the app are both super user friendly. You just type in where you want to go, the dates and how many people you want to book for. Then it generates the search results and you're able to see from a scale of 1 to 10 how the different hostels rank. Also more specifically, you'll see how they rank for cleanliness, location and the helpfulness of the staff. Plus, there's a bunch of reviews from other travelers as well as pictures, so it really helps you make a better decision. So what exactly is the environment like in a hostel? Well, they're fun, friendly and social and are usually buzzing with activity. They have their own restaurants and pubs, so they have different drink and meal deals every day of the week. Some even have their own rooftops and including the rooftops, they usually have common rooms that include pool tables and ping pong tables, smoke rooms, Whatever you can imagine, depending on what the city you're in. Hostels make the experience of traveling that much more fun and memorable because you meet people from all over the world. Plus, the hostels organize events on different nights of the week. So you might have a night where there's a group dinner and everyone eats together, or there might be a pub crawl night. And the communal areas are really fun at that time because usually everyone's chatting, pre-gaming, playing some games together before we all go out together. So it's really, really fun. But depending on your personality, some, are you, some of you might be a party animal, some of you might be the more mellow traveler. I would really strongly recommend looking at the reviews of the hostels because they will specify if it is a party hostel. Um, so if you are more mellow, be sure to look out for that, um, just so you pick the one that fits your vibe the most. Also, hostels offer free breakfast every morning, which is more than enough to get your day started on. Plus they offer things like free walking tours, which are amazing um, and a lot of fun. Plus the fact that it's free, is great. So what are hostel rooms like? Well, you can either book a private room or a dorm. The private room could come with its own bathroom and the dorm come with a communal bathroom. When it comes to booking a dorm, be sure to check if it's mixed, male or female, because, well, that'll depend who's in there. When it comes to plug points, they're usually next to the bed, but they might not have one that fits your charger. So be sure to bring a portable charger with you just in case. And majority of the hostels have a curtain that you can wrap around your bed for extra privacy, as well as a locker in the room so that you can lock all your valuables in. So be sure to bring a lock with you to every hostel you stay at. Hostels have some additional amenities as well, um, such as kitchens. So if you wanna save some money and just cook for yourself, there's space for you to do that. Also, they have um, washers and dryers. So if you are traveling for a long time, you can do your laundry and they're like those little coin machines. So it's very easy to use. Um, so yeah, some great amenities there for you. Additional things to keep in mind are that some hostels do have age restrictions. So be sure to look into that before you book. Also try your best to write a review for the hostel when you're done staying there. Just like you read other travelers reviews before you booked and made your decision, somebody else will probably read your review and find it helpful in making their decision. And I feel like it kind of goes without saying, but if you are staying in a dorm, please be considerate of the other people in the room with you. Um, you know, like if you know you're gonna be going out late, keep your toiletries on your bed so that you can go into the room. We always use the flashlights on our phones so we don't hit the main light on if it's really late. And then you can just grab your toiletries and get out of the room without kind of rummaging around in the dark and making a noise. Some hostels include a towel in your stay, but if not, you can probably rent them from them for a couple bucks and you'll get it back when the towel's returned. Also, be sure to keep an eye out for bed assignments because some hostels do assign beds to you. And if you crawl into somebody else's bed, they might not be too happy. Also, I recommend bringing earphones or earplugs. So in case somebody's making a noise at night, they won't wake you up and you can actually carry on sleeping. As well as an eye mask in case they do switch on the light because you do get those people. 
Also bring flip-flops in case you don't want to walk barefoot around the hostel or also want to shower in them, as well as your own toiletries. It's not a hotel, they will not give you shampoo, conditioner and soap. So be sure to bring those with you. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned it before, but don't forget to bring a portable charger. I feel like it's a staple when you, when you travel regardless. So always remember to have your portable charger with you. Staying in a hostel can be really awkward and overwhelming the first time you do it. I know I felt like a fish out of water and it just was a really strange feeling. But I can guarantee you that the first day you stay there, you'll become really comfortable and become a seasoned hostel explorer. What I do recommend is that you keep an open mind as you might stay in hostels that are below average, but you'll also stay in some that blow your expectations out of the water. Yeah, and regardless of if we've stayed in great ones or below average ones, honestly, it's always been worth it to us because every time we meet people from all over the world and we still actually stay in touch with a lot of them even today and we'll go visit them, you know, in their home city or they might come visit us. So kind of regardless of that, it's always a memorable experience. So that's it for this video on staying in a hostel. If you got value out of this, hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any helpful content coming up. And if you have any questions on hostels, drop us a comment below. And if you've stayed in a hostel and you have a favorite one, we would love to know what it is. For more helpful information, check out our video on traveling around Europe on a budget, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you later, friends.